Hi everyone, I'm Leah from Love Child Organics. You know, one of our goals at Love Child Organics is to include superfoods in all of our recipes. And today I'm going to show you how to make baby food at home that has superfoods. So today we're going to make a roasted root vegetable beet um, apple and quinoa puree. Now this is one of my favorites because I made it for my son Cam when he was a baby. And then we actually turned it into a Love Child Organics um, puree that we sell in the stores. But I'm going to show you how to make it at home. So the method for this superfood baby food puree couldn't be easier. Now I've preheated my oven to 375 degrees and I've got myself an oven proof casserole dish here and I've lightly oiled it just so that the food doesn't stick to the bottom. Now I've got my yams, I'm just going to dump them right in there and I'm gonna do the same with all of these other ingredients, well not all of them, the apples and the beets and then the rest of them we're gonna save for afterwards when we're pureeing it. There we go. So that's done. I'm gonna put a lid on this and I'm just gonna put it in the oven for about 20 minutes. So our roasted vegetables should be ready by now. So I'm just gonna take them out of the oven. Here they are looking all roasty and delicious. I'm just gonna take this lid off. It just smells amazing in here. Right, so we have our yams and our apples and our beets. And what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna put them straight into our, our blender. Now you do need a pretty high powered blender for this, simply because we're gonna be adding some quinoa in a minute. So I'm just gonna go and carefully spoon that all in there. There we go. Now this puree is packed full of nutrition. It has so much vitamin A, it's got vitamin C, um, it has, I mean, practically everything that you could hope for is in this one puree. And this next ingredient is gonna make that even better. We're actually now going to add the quinoa. Now quinoa is a complete protein and it, um, it has tons of fiber in it. It has omegas in it. It's just a really amazing food. It's gluten free and it's really gentle on little tummies, so it's actually perfect first food for your baby, so don't be afraid to use it. Now, if your baby likes more texture, you can actually blend this first and then stir in the quinoa afterwards, but a lot of babies, when they're starting out, like things quite smooth, so we're just gonna stick it in right now. There we go. And now, I'm gonna add a few special ingredients here. Um, we're just gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon is actually a superfood. It's a great um, anti-inflammatory, and then also, just a squeeze of orange juice, orange juice. Now in our love child purees, we actually add acerola fruit for vitamin C, but acerola is a little hard to source around here. So I'm just gonna add a squeeze of fresh orange juice instead. Just gonna put that right in there. Ooh, that's a juicy orange. That's gonna be delicious. Let's just get that right in. And then I'm gonna start blending it. It might be a bit too thick. And if it is, I'm just gonna add a little bit of water of actually, pre-boiled water, just so it's nice and safe for babies. So I'm just gonna turn this on, here we go. Okay, so you can see this is all finished here. Look at the color of this, it is absolutely beautiful and it tastes even better. Now, I've made quite a bit here, so if you have extra leftover, you can just freeze it in some BPA-free ice cube trays or in any little containers that you have for freezing baby food, and then you can just pop it out of the freezer for later meals. Um, you know, I hope you'll give this a try, but remember, if you don't have time, that's okay. You can also just go down to your local supermarket and buy one of our purees, which is really very, very similar.